And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. It's a gorgeous start to the morning across Idaho, looking outside across Malat Summit. This is looking northeastward, just a few clouds out there, a really nice sunrise to start off the morning, and it's even better across Idaho Falls. Clear start to the day, not even seeing any clouds out there. So to start off the morning, when you look outside, sunny to mostly sunny, depending upon your location along the I-15 corridor. Temperatures of this morning are a bit cooler for some locations, especially in Idaho Falls, waking up to 49 degrees or about 10 degrees warmer in the Gate City at 59 degrees and across the highlands into the western half of Wyoming also seeing temperatures into the 30s and the 40s looks like Evanston also relatively mild this morning at 60 degrees some locations are a bit cooler compared to yesterday morning one of them being across Pocatello eight degrees cooler so a noticeable change compared to yesterday but still a pleasant start to the morning but overall throughout the day today it'll be a hot one out there we return to the middle 90s across Pocatello and even across American Falls for tomorrow, temperatures begin to cool off into those lower 90s. And then Friday, a nice sigh of relief. We'll see temperatures into the 80s. You wouldn't even believe we were in the triple digits for the last weekend that we saw. We're starting off the morning again, as I mentioned, relatively clear, not picking up on any showers for the most part. Looking like it's try to rain, rain across the Idaho-Utah border, but nothing to really worry about. Just a few sprinkles you may encounter if you're headed south for this morning. But even across the rest of the Pacific Northwest, again, a dry start to the day, not seeing any clouds and we'll stay that way throughout the day today. We'll see a lot of sunshine. You may see a few clouds pass through during the second half of the afternoon into the evening, but we will be under a southwesterly flow today and that's why temperatures will be a bit warmer. We'll be at 96 today across the Gate City, 95 in Blackfoot, lower 90s across Idaho Falls for the Central Mountains. Lots of sunshine with a few clouds passing through by this afternoon. High temperatures mostly into the 80s. A few areas such as Chalice and Salmon reach those lower 90s. Looking to the highlands into the western half of Wyoming, a bit more comfortable outside. Temperature is mostly into the 80s. Yellowstone, one of the cooler spots at 77 degrees. And then for tonight, clouds build in. We'll call it partly cloudy out there. That keeps temperatures a bit warmer, noticeably warmer across Idaho Falls at 55 tonight. We'll be into the lower 60s across Pocatello, 40s and 50s across our higher terrain. And then for tomorrow, we have a slight chance for some showers and storms. The greatest chances of seeing these across parts of the Central Mountains, the Upper Snake Highlands, into the western half of Wyoming. Also, don't be surprised if you see one as far south as Rexburg or even St. Anthony. But again, most of us for the southern areas, the southern valleys, stay dry for tomorrow and temperatures across the Gem State will be mostly into those lower 90s. For your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast, we will see temperatures tomorrow into those lower 90s, 93 for Thursday. And then on Friday, comfortably warm, 87 degrees, 89 on Saturday. Again, I think we'll have a great stretch of weather and for your seven day forecast to do any outdoor activities, outdoor plans, boating, golfing, hiking, perfect for that. If you will be outside by the pool though, definitely apply extra sunscreen and sun will certainly be strong out there today. Idaho Falls, your seven day forecast, mainly sunny today, partly cloudy tomorrow, and then we'll see a lot of sunshine with temperatures into the 80s by the weekend. We'll see a return of those 90s by next Tuesday, where we'll start to see some clouds passing through as well. Across the Teton area, Jackson, Afton and Driggs, mainly sunny today, a slight chance for some showers and storms tomorrow, mainly for areas to the north near Island Park. And then we'll dry out to close off the work week and we'll stay dry throughout the weekend with temperatures into those lower 80s. And you may see a few showers and storms tomorrow also across the Central Mountains.